rightly. So, 4-0 against Birmingham City. Talk me through that game. How simple was that? I think what surprised me most was how poor Birmingham were. Um, we were great, don't get me wrong. We were fantastic. And what really surprised me, Birmingham in fifth position, and the, the came and looked pretty average, or fair enough, Newcastle made them look average. Because all they were doing, they were kind of running out of ideas, hitting the long ball towards Donaldson, and there was nothing feeding off it. And it was pretty easy, comfortable afternoon for the defence. Um, going forwards, Dwight Gale and Mo Diama looked so much better, especially in the first hour. It was just an awesome, awesome performance. Everybody, seven, eight, you've got to say that. And something I've done before, but I'm going to go through the, the starting line and, and just give me a mark out of 10 to how they did. So, start with Darlo, how did he do? He didn't have much to do, so seven. And then Anita, I would say seven. And I would say Lassell, seven. Clark, an eight, because I think Clark uh, was more of a leader today. Dummett, seven. Looking on the right hand side, it was Richie. It was very busy, like I'll give him an eight. Hayden, I'll give him a seven. And then we're looking across now with Shelby. I think Shelby had a great game. Uh, not his best, but he's better than what he has been the last few games. So I'll give a Shelby an eight. Gufran, although he did score, I think he was fairly quiet. So I'll give him a seven. Diame, I'm actually going to be very, very polite and give Mo Diame a nine, believe it or not. And of course, Dwight Gale is going to get all the headlines. So you're going to have to give Gale a nine or a ten, aren't you? Now, with, this, with the front line, yeah. is Gale and Diame the preferred two? Play with that so many times now. Gail and Perez, Mitra and Perez. Is Gail and Diame the front two, the, the ones that we choose all the time? Well, I think you can't drop Gail, so he's a certainty. I know half the fans want Mitrovic to start alongside him. I'm one of them. Um, Diame looks so much better linking the midfield. I've talked about this numerous times. Um, People don't say off the ball, but off the ball, Perez doesn't stay in that number 10 role. And he goes missing, especially when we don't have the ball, which is a bit worrying because we're trying to get up the field through the centre and we've got nothing. So I would say, yes, Diame's got his critics, but we'll have to see how it goes. But I would stick with those two going, going on to Wigan. And what's been different from, from the past three previous games? Because obviously we've looked decent, but obviously we've not got the job done. So what's been different? I think there was more intensity, there was more getting forward, getting the ball forward. You can see Rafa doing all this on the touchline. Uh, we scored early, which helps as well. We got two early goals in the first 25 minutes, which set the tone for the rest of the game. It kind of knocked the stuffing out with Birmingham and made their fans quiet as well. I think, in all honesty, Newcastle fans got that bored. They started shining the torches around the stadium and everything. Because um, it was just pretty, we're not bored, entertained. It was like, this is an easy afternoon, this. So I think it was just, the start is always Casey and James. It, it sets the tone. And obviously we've got Wigan away yeah. and it's not Burton Albion. What can happen in those two games? You would think, oh, they're six points easy at the start of the season, wouldn't you? But this is the championship. Newcastle seem to come up against teams who are bottom half the table and we struggle against. So you would think, yeah, we'll get three points against Wigan. Looking at Wigan's form, they're shocking at the minute. You think, yeah, I don't know how they got on the day, but you think, yeah, there's three points. But you've got to go and show up and put the performance in. I don't think it'll be pretty again. I think it'll be gritty, but what we'll have is we'll have numerous of thousands and thousands of away fans behind us. The Burton one, we're going to get so much stick if we got beat off Burton. Could you imagine going to Burton? We'll, we'll have the enemy down the roads shouting on it. They, they, they shall not be named. Um, it's a tricky one, Burton one. You'll have to ask me that close at the time. It's tricky, isn't it? it you could slip up, couldn't you? All right, cheers for that, man. No worries. Okay.